Hey guys, how's it going? It's Janie over here at Janie Sweet. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Friday Fixes episode where you ask me okay questions and I do my best to answer them for you. Today's episode is going to be talking about LLCs. Um, you guys know that I registered my business as an LLC and some of you guys had a couple of questions for me. I compiled all of them, some misconceptions that you may have. Um, I'm going to also talk about how I went about registering my LLC in New York State. Um, this may be different um, depending on the state that you're living in that goes without saying I am NOT a lawyer this is not legal advice so if you want a little bit more in depth maybe do some more research or contact an actual attorney this is just my personal experience with my LLC um, so if you want to learn everything I have to say about this then keep on watching but before we dive into the topic today I do want to take a couple of seconds to thank today's sponsors next insurance you guys have heard me talk about them on the channel before and that is how much I really really like them those of you guys who have tried them out have had really good things to say about them so that's why I'm recommending them again on the channel if you guys don't know who next insurance is they are an insurance company that specializes in small businesses whatever business that you may be in so even if you're not a bakery or a home bakery you can definitely get insured with next insurance I know the process of looking for business insurance can be very daunting, but when you go on their website, everything is so, so organized, very well explained. To get a free quote, it's just a matter of minutes. You know, you can do it right on your phone if you don't have a computer. If you want to do it on a computer, that's fine as well, but it's just a couple clicks of buttons, a couple questionnaires that you're filling out, and then you're on your way to getting a free quote. Within a few minutes, you can get approved for your business insurance, and you can even print out your certificate right on the spot another great thing because a lot of us are trying to be a little bit more cost-effective nowadays you can save up to 30% compared to other insurance companies on the market depending on what your needs are and what business you're in they have great customer service if you ever need to file a claim the process is super easy and simple um, if you're in the part market for business insurance then I definitely recommend checking out the link that I will leave for you guys below so again a big thank you to next insurance for sponsoring today's video now let's go back to the topic all right let's start with a few misconceptions that I see you guys have um, you know based on comments that I see or questions that you guys ask me the first one is do you need an LLC to operate a business the answer to that is no you do not need an LLC there are so many ways that you can actually register your business and LLC just happens to be one of them there is LLC you can be a sole proprietorship you can be a partnership you can be a corporation another misconception is that it is expensive to form an LLC and that is not true I mean expensive is very subjective however you can form your LLC for close to nothing right um, I personally paid $825 to file form my LLC but that cost is not technically to form the LLC it was for everything else Else. first of all I wanted my LLC formed within 30 days if you wanted it you know a little bit longer you were willing to wait a little bit longer it would have been extremely cheaper I paid some attorney fees I paid a lot of extra things through legal zoom and I'm gonna talk about that in a second um, but I formed my LLC through legal zoom there are other things that are way cheaper if not I want to say free but don't take my word for it I just went with the pretty expensive option only because I wanted to not have anything to do with it I just preferred somebody else to um, you know get all the paperwork and all of that done for me so it can be as expensive as you want or as inexpensive as you want the other big misconception is taxes that somehow you're taxed differently if you own an LLC compared to a sole proprietorship or a corporation etc you are taxed differently if you have a corporation rather than an LLC but for tax reasons an LLC is like a sole proprietorship or a partnership if you have the LLC with a few more people You could do more research on that and if you have an accountant or someone who does your taxes they are definitely going to give you more information on that however for tax purposes you are a sole proprietorship as far as the irs is concerned all right so there were a few other misconceptions but those were you know 
easily Google, so I'm not gonna go too much into that. Um, let's talk about a few benefits because why would somebody want to form an LLC? Why not just operate your business as a sole proprietorship, even a partnership if you have more than one person? So the big one, the main one is because the LLC is going to protect your assets. Let's just say for whatever reason, we're making cakes and desserts, so let's go with that, right? God forbid you make a cake, a wedding cake that had some bad ingredients in it and uh, so many people got sick from it, God forbid, right? And someone were to sue you for that and they cannot go after your personal assets. Your personal assets are protected. Basically, that means that anything that your business owns, they can go after, they can take, they can repossess. However, your personal bank account, your personal um uh, cars, your home, etc., etc. Those are protected under the LLC. They cannot go after you for anything above what you own in the business. I'm gonna go into benefits of just registering your business, and that is the same thing for a sole proprietorship, a partnership, and an LLC. I don't know much about corporations, so I'm just gonna go and talk about these three things. Okay, so. The only difference between the LLC and the sole proprietorship and the uh, partnership is that your personal assets are protected. Everything else that I'm talking about, that goes for all three of them. I hope I didn't lose anyone. Okay, once you've registered your business, the cool thing is that you can go ahead and open up a business bank account. This sounds like super, super simple and easy, like, okay, I could just open a different bank account. However, when you have a business bank account, there are so many perks that your bank can either give you, different loans that you can take advantage of. Businesses are treated differently in that sense, right? You can get maybe a bigger cash back on your credit card, I don't know. It depends on the, the, the bank and the institution that you're banking with, um, but there's so many perks for having a business um, account rather than a, a personal account. So this might be something that you might wanna take advantage of by registering your business. Next thing is that you can have an EIN number. So the EIN number is sort of like your social security for your business, right? So anything that you're doing, you don't need to put out your personal information out there. You don't need to write out your personal social security. If somebody were to pay you or anything, that doesn't go, you know, you don't have to write out your personal social security. Now, I do want to say that for tax purposes, it does not matter. You're still taxed the same way. However, you don't have to give complete strangers your social security number, right? You can Put your EIN number. Speaking of EIN numbers, once you have that, you can hire employees. You cannot do that if you don't register your business. So you can legally hire employees and you know you can pay taxes for them and pay them correctly. You do everything you know the right way and legally. So um, once you have that EIN number, you can hire your employee. Now I do wanna say that in order for the LLC to protect you, uh, your personal assets, you have to have a separate business bank account. So you cannot go to the grocery store and say, okay, I'm gonna buy you know food for the week and then I'm going to buy that flour for the cake right that I have due ne next week you can't do that you need to take out your bank account that's made for the LLC the business bank account and use that to buy the flour if you don't do that you're not protected you kind of like avoid the LLC in that sense right so you have to make sure that everything you're buying for the business is bought you know, from that business bank account. So just be careful of that. And again, everything that I'm saying, take it with a grain of salt, do your own research, and also hire, you know, an attorney or, you know, a tax accountant to give you the proper, proper information for your specific state and your specific case. Now, I know that starting the process of forming your LLC can seem like such a daunting task, but in my experience, I used LegalZoom and it took 30 days from the time I filed until I actually received my paperwork in the mail. So there were three separate calls. I filed it, I had a call um, with you know like the first representative, and then I had a second call, and by the third call, I was done. It took me maybe half an hour to fill out paperwork and do all of that, so it was really, really easy. They walked me through it, 
This video is not sponsored by LegalZoom. It's just who I personally use. Feel free to use whomever you prefer or not use anybody at all. You can just file it yourself if you um, are willing to do a little bit more research. So, like I said, I went through LegalZoom and that is how I filed my um, LLC. I just Googled LegalZoom, forming an LLC, and then I just follow the prompts you know like you kind of like start a quote type of thing and then there are different things that they're going to ask you if you want it super fast if you're willing to wait 90 days etc etc it's very self-explanatory and the good thing about having a third party do this for you I didn't have to worry about any paperwork at the end of the year they send me like everything that I need to file they tell you like what your liabilities are when I say liabilities like what are you supposed to be filing what paperwork are you supposed to be submitting etc etc like for example in New York State you have to um, advertise in a couple of different newspapers I wouldn't have known that if I didn't go with them so they definitely helped me out with that um, as far as like taxes and stuff like that like it, it's really 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 beneficial if you don't know what you're doing to have that third party and like I said it did cost me a bit um, I spent $826 but you don't have to spend that if you're willing to do more research and do the work yourself I also do have an upkeep kind of like maintenance fee and I think it's like $300 for the year something like that so it's not really expensive in my opinion just for my peace of mind and knowing that I don't have to worry about anything so in conclusion would I recommend an LLC it depends in my experience I think it just gives me a peace of mind that you know the sole proprietorship wouldn't um, only because I feel like it just makes it a little bit more um, separate right I know I have a separate bank account not that you can't with the sole proprietorship but it forces you almost to separate your business and your personal stuff especially when we're doing this out of our home and you know we're a smaller business we might not be into the habit of doing that so the LLC definitely forces you into that and also the idea that should anything ever go wrong and anyone decides to sue me they cannot go uh, you know after my personal assets is amazing and that's not just clients like let's just say you have like an employee that you know drives for you and they get into a really bad car wreck they still cannot come after your personal assets so that's really 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 good to know so I hope you guys um, you know enjoyed this video I hope it gave you a starting point um, you know if you're researching and you're trying to figure out if an LLC is the right step for you um, hopefully this was a good starting point and definitely like I said I recommend you do a lot more research than just this little video um, but hopefully this has equipped you with some of the tools and you know some of the things that you need to look out for when you're making your decision so thank you guys so much for watching thank you again next insurance for sponsoring today's video again all of their information is going to be in the description box below um, so definitely if you are in the market for business insurance I would definitely suggest that you check them out and you get a free quote and see if this is something that will you know work out for you in your business so thank you guys again for watching this is it for this week's video I love you I'll talk to you next time